all right guys welcome back to the channel once again and today we're going to be talking about the resize container so this is a kind of very interesting topic today so i recently found one uh, feature so where we have to resize the container by dragging like when i do the mouse down on any container and i just i try to drag it like this and just move back and then like i move my cursor so it will start increasing the height and width of the container so that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna be looking at how we can do that and it's like uh, and how it changed the container size and all everything we're gonna be looking at that so there's a few libraries i found which gonna be make it easy to do that so one of them we're gonna be using it today and i'm gonna be walking through with that one because that library is so easy to do implementation that like that and there are other few libraries because those are kind of uh, used on the bigger level so if you want to try those as well so you can try those easily as so let's check this out and let's see how it works and then we can just implement it so right now you see i have resize route over here and resize container i have already written over here okay so let me take you to the code so this is my code so this is this is my next js code so recently i have already created few videos on the next js so how the boilerplate works and all the thing pages and all work over there so it's a kind of you can write server side and uh, client side both the components over here so this is this is right now you are seeing this is the server size component but if i have to make it like a client side component so i can make it as well so but i'm not going to do that right now i'm just going to be creating what component inside of it and i'm gonna be using it okay so let's get let's get deeper into this one and let's start using it how we can implement okay so let's go into the source component source container over here and i'm going to be creating one component so let me just move to the source container and just create one more folder over here component okay inside this source component uh folder i'm going to be creating another folder which called resize container okay Okay, so I'm going to be creating this container and we can create a one more folder so it looks more pretty good. Okay, so like this. Okay, so inside the resize container, I'm going to be creating one file which is going to be index.tsx. Here I'm going to be creating one component export default. Okay, and uh, just wait for a while because we have to download that library from the npm package manager. So that also we have to do export default function. So this is a kind of ES5 function which I'm creating right now. In the ES6, you can just use uh, arrow functions and also if you want to use that, you can use that easily. So I'm gonna name it resize component. So if you want to uh, modify into the uh, ES6 version, so you can just do like resize in the capital letter. Name should be in capital letter. So component resize and like this props. I hope you guys know that. So this is your uh, uh, error function component. Okay, so let's leave it. And over here, just return something like one div, create one div like this. And inside that, just create one more div. Okay, so there's um, multiple divs gonna be over here. Okay, like this. Okay, easy. Okay, so we're gonna include this component over there. So before that, we just have to do import react from react. Okay, uh, sorry, like this, react from react. And then uh, mm, react from react okay that's it okay let's go over here as well so just don't import anything over here because we are not making it client side so we have to just import the component so just import component import um component so resize component so just import it and just uh, make it like this okay so let's wrap it into the div take this div out over here create p uh, p element inside this p element just copy this text okay text just put the text over here and after that uh, we can just uh, so i'm using the children css as well over here so i'm just gonna give some sort of p text law text uh, x double excel double excel like this and then text gray 400 like this so let's see color changing or not over here so you see the color is changing i can make the text bold as well so font bold as well let's see the font is getting bolder or not so you see the font will become bolder and text so these are the come some kind of generic classes in the css on the tailwind css so you can use this so you see coming over here okay same how i can just do empty folds from margin top fold so this is margin top it's taking okay leave it as it is now after that just go over here resize component include it like this okay just pass the props over here okay like this so just do, do, do. 
props okay just pass the props and over here go and big we have to make it as a client component so make sure you use client over here use client like this and this will become your client component okay so i think this is gonna be fine yeah this is fine okay let's try something we is coming or not so yeah it's coming client component is ready okay now let's check out the library which library i'm talking about so go to the npm package manager npm package manager over here npm home over here search resizable mm. resizable okay resizable so there's so many resizable related package manager came over here so we need to search for re resizable okay re resizable okay so let's see so this is the library which i'm talking about so if we go inside of it over here you can see how we do that so this is which you can drag from the left side right side bottom top as well so everything every way you can just drag it increase the height and width of the container okay so there's one problem as well i'll show you how was the problem so i have fixed that problem so this is how we have to install it so let's just copy over here first go to your code and just open the window and just paste it install it why it's giving me some error oh okay so let me open this one cd code and repositories next to do cd next to do okay this is paste it okay sudo okay so it's time to it so there's some access issue so i have to do you know in the mac uh, like unix terminal on linux we have to do some kind of ch mode operation so we have to allow the any kind of download into the system so i think there's some missing access for the download so that's why i have to include sudo over here for downloading okay so that's the problem that, that was the problem okay leave it and uh, just come over here so our package has been downloaded now include the package import resizable resizable from resizable okay so we got this over here now just we need to copy this how this library says so we have downloaded this one we imported this one as well so import import go to code okay the code we have already imported it over here now go back to the code and we have to use like this okay so just copy this one and just paste it over here so create another layer okay just paste like this okay so let's suppose i create one array over here cross array okay array one comma two comma three four. so these are the multiple numbers in this array okay now we're gonna be mapping this array over here so recessible so i'm gonna be mapping it like this array dot map okay and items okay inside the item we're going to be putting this one we're going to be adding this one over there so resizable okay resizable over here after that we just have to put the item so we have to keep it till okay and just keep item put the item value okay like this and put the class name so better to wrap into the p text i think p will be fine so p okay and put the copy the item remove the item from there put it into the p okay so we're going to be decorating it a little bit so the class name so text gray for 500 okay font bold text triple xl like this and all okay and even let's check into the code how it looks like so go over here so these are your all the items mapped over here okay. now to flex box over here so this one class name flex justify justify between flex so you see it's coming over here like this okay so i think there will be some more element but it's not they are not coming so i think there is one uh, one problem i think okay let me just check this out so all our item all the items are mapping but they are not getting flex wrap over here so where's the class for that flex wrap now it's size it should work right so if you go into code so yeah it was correct right there's no problem with it why it's not working so this i believe okay it's not taking the flex wrap class okay so just uh, flex wrap equals to wrap okay so i'm gonna be doing like this okay so it's not taking the class right now maybe some kind of library update and also i'm just uh, adding like this 
so it's tile flag wrap equals to wrap okay so like this you can add it okay now you see resizable so if i try to resize it it should be resized okay so let's just go over here and if i try to okay we have to give some color to it okay so the background color gonna be pg gray for to all the dips over here so let's see class name pg gray 900 okay no 700 let's give for 700 and let's check it out so you see all the colors are coming so if i try to drag it like this so you see it's draggable if i'm trying to increase the width of it so it's see it's increasing isn't it cool right so it's kind of working right now so you see it's working it's working for each and every day and also it's as just adjustable so in the in the main div if i try to drag like if i try to increase the size of this container so this container will automatically going to be adjusted bottom of it just because of i have given the property flex wrap into this one okay so let me just add some position so let's let's create one another component over here block component okay so let's create a block component into that block component we're going to be wrapping all the divs over there and resizable as well so we're going to remove all of it from here and all the dips gonna be over there and that's how we will map it over here but all this part gonna be over there and then we will add some padding and all and then it will look far more better than this one okay so blocks dot tsx okay so block dot tsx so export default function block okay block okay so block over here and then block over here just put the props props okay and then return and just put div so we have to use the resizable over here so just put resizable resizable okay and just put it like this inside let's just give it the div and div inside with the p okay p like this props in the props will receive the item value value okay so value like this and over here like props okay like this okay now we can create the value like this okay so this is the props props value will come and we will just this is the tsx code so it will show you the error message so we're going to just put uh any or something like that because it's going to be uh sorry, giving. otherwise you can create an interface over here like this if you're using the transcripts of props and you can define all the property what you're going to be having so i'm going to be dividing value and it could be string or number to be anything over here so i will just create the props over here like this okay so this prop will come value will come over here so now i'll go to the page.tsx index.tsx over here just import the block so i'm going to be importing block from the and has the value over there okay just value equals to item and just copy this whole code from here copy and just go over here paste it blah 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 okay so just paste it now so we are just playing with it okay now it's not a, like uh, you can use this uh, anywhere you just get the basic idea of it how we can use it how we can design all this thing so how we should do it so this is kind of basic idea i'm giving you right now but if you want to implement a uh, like uh, a logical feature or some kind of usable feature into your production code so you can use it from this because this is the kind of implementation we should do if we are dealing with a block or widgets or any kind of thing in the dashboard okay so this is how it is and let's go over here now you see all the components all the blocks are coming okay so we should reload the page see now it's mapped okay so we should give padding padding and margin top margin left um empty two so let's use the margin one rem from all side okay so one rem over here so let's see so you see this one right now and now if i try to drag it so you see when i'm if i'm dragging it increasing the size of it so you see two is coming over here three is automatically shifting over here and all the other containers are coming okay so if i see if i drag it make it smaller so you see it's becoming smaller if i try to drag it to become bigger okay so automatically it's adjustable and all the other components also going to be adjustable because their height and width into the block okay each and every block have their own execution context okay so all the data is saved in each and every block so it's not gonna bother to another 
okay so that's kind of how to be defined so this library is handling all the states automatically if you want to get the state data like variably so you have two functions over here like if you want to set up the state these states like uh, are dynamically so you can uh, on resize on resize whenever you are resizing so you can just use a callback function from here it returns you some data like uh, a event and then some values over here like uh, uh, like direction and all so you can just get it so let me just show you into the library how it does i also forgetting so you see over here on resize so this data you will receive from here and into this d we get actual size of the container okay so if we go over here and just put it like this and just put it into this one i believe we should work right from oh all the values are separated okay so okay so it's like this so you have to use the d d okay so on resize same same things you get in the on resize okay and same thing you get on the on resize stop and on resize start so it's up to you how you want to implement it so on resize stop so it's up to you how you want to implement it how you want to set the logic you can create one state over here use state use uh use state or any kind of custom state or you can pass the value back to the parent component and you can use it so that's how also you can do but you can get the size over here of the containers then you can just set it and save it for the next time when you load the page so all the containers should show as it is over here into the dashboard okay so now if i increase the size of this you will see i'm getting the values in the console see so minus plus minus plus minus plus blah 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 everything is happening over here see how cool it is so this is kind of recently i found and i just wanted to share with you guys so this is how it is so th i hope you guys understood something from this video so thank you so much guys thanks for watching and i'll meet you in the next video Bye bye